Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Today let's look at the difference between word processing mode and page layout mode in Mac Pages. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So when using Pages you have the choice between two different modes for every document. There's word processing mode and page layout mode. When you're working in Pages there are several different ways to tell which mode you're in. One is to go to the File menu. If you see Convert to Page Layout then you know you're in word processing mode. Whereas if you see Convert to Word Processing then you know you're in Page Layout mode. You could also go to the Document sidebar here and if you look for Document Body if that is checked that means you're in Word Processing mode. If it's not checked then you're in Page Layout mode. There are other ways to tell as well. For instance in the Document sidebar if you see Section and Bookmarks those are properties of Word Processing mode. If you don't see them there that means you're in Page Layout mode. Plus if you go to View and then Show Layout You'll see a large box here that covers the entire page. This is the body text. If you see that it usually means that you're in word processing mode. So what are the two different modes for? Well word processing mode is for when you're writing a regular document. Either a book like a novel or a long report that's just page after page of text. This is most of what we use word processors for. In word processing mode you're going to have this body text here that's automatically on every page. And if you were to fill it with text you would see that it creates new pages like it created the second page here with the text flowing from one page to the other all inside this large body text element that's on every page. If I were to go to View, Show Page Thumbnails here I could see each page and if I added more text you can see how it adds even more pages and the text just flows from page to page. Now let me convert this to Page Layout Mode. Now this is dangerous to do if you've already put text in the body text because it's going to get rid of it. So you can see the body text is now gone. Now you can see here the difference is that there's no body text element in the middle of a page. There's just nothing there. You still have your header and footer here which I see because remember I turned on Show Layout here. But there's nothing on the page. I can't just add text to it. I have to add an element that contains text like for instance a text box. And now I can actually add text to this text box, position it where I want, size it where I want, and all of that. So Page Layout Mode is good for creating things like newsletters, flyers, anything where you want text and other items to appear as individual elements on the page. Not text that flows from page to page automatically. Now it's important to realize in both word processing and page layout modes you can still add all these individual elements like text boxes, shapes, and images. These things work in both modes. So the main difference really is in word processing mode you have this flowing body text that goes from page to page. In fact you can pretty much create anything that you do in page layout mode in word processing mode as long as you're willing to ignore the body text that's there on every page. And it can actually get in the way quite a bit if you're not using it. Now when you're using page layout mode you can still have text flow from page to page. You just need to create separate text boxes like this. And if you select one and click here you can then go and select this one and you can see it flows from one to the other. And it will adjust as I increase the size of this and more text is in here there's going to be different text picking up where this left off. And of course you can put these on different pages. So I can add another page here and you can see I've got page 2. If I add a text box here I could click here, select this as 1 and then go here and select this as 2. And now text will still flow from page 1 to page 2 because it's flowing from this text box to this text box. So that's how you can create a newsletter that say has a couple columns of text on page 1 and then the story continues on page 4. Now word processing documents have something called sections. And you would add a section by simply inserting a section break and it creates another section. This allows you to separate parts of your text like perhaps different chapters into different sections. And different sections can be dragged and reordered here in the left sidebar. Whereas individual pages cannot because the text is just flowing from page to page. Swapping page 2 and page 3 really doesn't make a difference because the text is still going to flow from 1 to 2 to 3. But having sections where maybe you have chapters of a book that you want to rearrange, that makes sense. 
plus sections can have different headers and footers and page numbering and all of that. That's all part of word processing. Word processing documents can also have bookmarks which are a property of the body text. Page layout mode doesn't have sections because in a sense every single page is its own section. You can create pages and you can rearrange them as you want. So it's almost like the pages are slides in a keynote presentation. Every page is its own individual element. Not only that but you can have page templates. If you go to View, Edit Page Templates you can create different page templates. I can add one here. Call this one Test. Now I've got blank and test and I can put different things on each template. So for instance in this template here I'm going to put a box here at the upper left hand corner. In this template here I'm going to put a circle at the upper left hand corner. Maybe make it a different color. So now I've got two different templates here. So now when I exit template mode you can see this is using template 1. I can switch here under Format to a different template. I can add a page here and then I have to choose which template I want to add. So every page can follow its own template. And if I go in and change a template like this, maybe I'll change this to be a different color, then that changes those template elements for every single page where that template is used. The individual elements on the page are different. So I can add some text here for instance. And this is just on page 3. It's not on page 1. It's not part of the template but the green box is. Another thing to consider about page layout mode is that the headers are kind of universal. They go through all of the pages here. You can't break things up into sections. So you can't have one section with one type of header and one section with another type of header. But you can use templates to do whatever you want. So if you edit the templates here I could create a text box and I could put a page number in here. I'll just do Insert page number like that. I can make it nice and big and bold and put it to the right. Put it up there. And this is just going to be in this template and not this one. So now when I look at the pages that are using this template there's the number 1. But it's not on this template but it is on this template. So you can set up your templates however you want to simulate sections if you like. So in most cases it's going to be really obvious which mode you want to be in. If you're writing something that's going to just have flowing text from page to page then you want word processing mode. And if you're creating something like a newsletter or a flyer or a poster or something like that then you're going to want to use page layout mode. There are times when we have to pick one or the other and the features largely overlap. If you want text to flow from one page to the next you can use linked text boxes. Or if you want page layout elements on a regular word processing document you could certainly add those. However it's important to take into consideration what you're publishing here. If you're publishing an EPUB document, something that's that standard ebook format, then you really want to use word processing because EPUB documents are like novels. They flow from page to page and you're going to want to have that body text there. However if you're creating something like a PDF then it really doesn't matter. You can use either one. And if your document calls for a kind of page layout style then you're going to want to use page layout. And publishing it as a PDF or printing it isn't really going to care which mode you're in. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.